All right, FRQ number four for the AP Pre-Calculus 2024 exam. If there are any corrections or clarifications, I will put it as a pinned comment um, down there. So functions g and h are given by this function. Solve g of x equals 10 for values x in the domain. So, okay, um, 10 is equal to e to the x plus 3. And then how do we, um, you know, get rid of the e is you take the natural log of both sides. So you get ln of 10 is equal to x plus 3. And then you can subtract 3. So ln of 10 minus 3 is equal to x. That's how we invert that. And then if we have arc sine of x over 2 is equal to pi over 4, how do I get rid of the arc sine as I take the sine of both sides? Sine of arc sine will cancel out. So I get x over 2 is equal to sine of pi over 4. Sine of pi over 4 on your unit circle. It's over here. And that coordinate is root 2 over 2 comma root 2 over 2. And the y value is root 2 over 2. So then multiply through by 2, you get x is equal to square root of 2. OK, that's part A. Uh, part B, the functions j and k are given by this. Rewrite j as a single log base 10 without negative exponents in any part of the expression. Your result should be a form of log 10 of this. OK, so first step is whenever I add things, logs, I get to multiply them on the inside. So it's going to be 8x to the fifth times 2x squared. And then whenever I subtract anything, I get to put um, uh, I get to put on the denominator, but I got to get rid of this nine. And so minus nine, I can bring the nine inside and make that x to the ninth, right? So then it's minus log ten x to the ninth. So then I can divide by x to the ninth there. Okay, so that's me combining them together. So that's log ten, and then eight times two is sixteen. This is x to the seventh over x to the nine. And then you can cancel those or subtract them, but you'll just be left with x squared on the bottom, right? Because um, like that. OK, so 16 log of 16 over x squared. Rewrite k as a single term involving just tangent of x. So for k of x, we just want tangent. So we want to do 1 minus sine squared x over sine x. Now, my first step is always write everything in sine and cosine, and then we'll, we'll convert everything. So secant is 1 over cosine of x. Now, what are we going to do here? Um, 1 minus sine squared, I know I can convert that into cosine squared. So that's one, one identity, because sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. So that's cosine squared x over sine x times cosine of x, or sorry, cosine of x on the bottom. That will cancel that. And now I have cosine of x over sine x. Now tangent is sine over cosine. So this is like 1 over sine x over cosine of x, which we can write 1 over tan x. The function m is given by this. Find all values in the domain that yield an output value of 0. So we want, we want to know what values of x make this 0. So we want to know when cosine of inverse of tan of 2x is equal to 0. Now, cosine inverse always gives you one value because it's a function. So, um, oh, actually, so we need to think everything that will map. Sorry, I, I take that back. We got to map everything in here. So if cosine inverse, so if we think about the cosine inverse function, right, um, you get, um, so cosine of an angle gives you a value. So if I do inverse cosine, it's of an angle. Um, one second. Sorry, I was doing a lot of FRQs today, so I needed to get a drink of water. Okay, so when so so cosine inverse will give you remember cosine inverse the domain is this region right here, right? Like I can only feed values in from here to here into um co oh sorry it'll give me sorry it will give me angles between here and here, right? So where is cosine zero? That's going to be this value right here. Right, so that means tangent of 2x is going to be where cosine of 0 is, is equal to 0. Now, what we have to think about, and this is what I, I'm trying to just be careful, is that, not, that there's not other values that we might consider that map to here that also give me um, 0. But cosine inverse, the domain is, um, 
it gives me an angle and it gives me a value. Okay, so I, I need a value between negative one and positive one. Okay, so I, I also, I ultimately need to know when tangent's gonna give me zero. That, that's what it comes down to. So where is tangent zero? That's where the y values are zero, right? And so the y values are gonna be zero at multiple places for tangent. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be multiples of pi, right? So it could be zero pi, two pi, that kind of thing. So that means two x has to be some multiple of pi, k times pi, where pi is an integer. And so x is gonna be k pi over two, where k is any integer. Now, um, we want to know in the domain, um, the domain of tangent can be any number. Any number that's not, that doesn't give me like, a, you know, like a vertical asymptote, like tangent is not evaluated at like pi, you know, but uh, th this will be fine. That will consist of every domain. I was just double checking that our domain was good, but all of these would be in the domain because you could get a value of this. So that would be the answer for that one.